Have you ever forgotten someone's birthday and only remembered it the day after? Have you ever missed a deadline? Have you ever received a reminder for an unpaid bill? Well, this is because your mind is for having ideas, not holding them. Getting Things Done by David Allen provides an easy-to-implement framework for staying organized and boosting your productivity. This is done by capturing your tasks and ideas, clarifying what they mean to you, organizing them, reviewing your system and goals, and focusing on completing your tasks by taking action. Stay tuned because by the end of this video, your productivity will skyrocket. But first things first, capture. Collect everything that has your attention and write it down. This can be something like taking out the trash, a birthday you don't want to forget, or a project you want to work on during your free time. You can use a digital to-do list app on your phone or a physical notebook. Use a system that works best for you and suits your preferences. This step helps to free up mental space and reduce the stress that can come from trying to keep track of everything in your head. When you capture everything, you can be sure that nothing will slip through. Next, clarify. Look at all the captured items and ask yourself if it requires action. If so, ask a follow-up question. Can it be done in two minutes? Anything that can be done in less than two is done straight away. This already filters out a lot of stuff and makes for motivating small achievements. If the task you are processing is to prepare the clothes for the next day, just do it right away. Things that take more than two minutes, like grocery shopping for the week, are recorded in a task list, which we'll look at in the next step. If the item you're looking at doesn't require an action, decide if you want to defer it, if it is something to be kept for reference, or if it can be discarded. This could be stuff you receive by post, such as your bank statements. Repeat this step for all the items on your list. This step makes it easier to prioritize tasks and make progress towards your goals. Now that you have all your actionable items in place, it's time to organize them. You want to sort them into appropriate categories such as projects, context, and time. We call this the action list. Tasks related to larger projects, such as preparing for an important business meeting or preparing for a summer vacation, should be grouped together. If tasks are time-consuming or can't be done all at once, try breaking them down into smaller pieces. That way, you're more likely to stick to the framework. If you have to do the chores, split it into smaller tasks. Start with the laundry, then do the dishes, and so on. Make your tasks as simple and tangible as possible. Time or date specific events such as deadlines or birthdays are added to your calendar so that you can deal with them at the right time. Don't mix up dates. Things that are related, like a shopping list or the mails you have to answer while you are at the computer, are grouped together. If you have several calls to do, mark them with phone so you can complete them in a batch. These categories can be expanded as needed, for example to include delegated tasks where you want to check in after a few days to see how things are going. Also, tasks can of course be assigned to more than one group. Make sure your system is easy to use and fits your style of working. Let's take a look at the non-actionable items on your list. There are two options. They can either be kept for reference, like the medical book you need when you get sick, or they can be deferred, like the book you're writing and want to return to when you have more time. To maintain efficiency, the GTD framework includes a review step. Weekly reviews ensure that everything is in place and all information has been processed. This is also an opportunity to add any missed items. Monthly reviews of short-term goals are important to ensure that actions are aligned with desired outcomes. Did you read the book like you wanted? And did you buy that inflatable dinghy for summer vacation? This will help you track your overall progress. Now you're almost there. The system you've created by now should give you a clear guideline which tasks are urgent and what's next. The final step is to engage. Now it's time to start completing tasks based on your calendar and action list. As new information comes in, it needs to be captured and processed for actionability. By following this framework, you can effectively manage your tasks and maintain a clear mind, allowing you to focus on what truly matters. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.